Hey, what's up, family? Trying to figure life out. Man, it is a challenge. Imagine sitting in front of a 10,000 piece puzzle. Pieces are everywhere. You don't know, really know where to begin. You don't know if you start with the edges. You don't know if you want to start with the colors. Like, pieces are everywhere, like all around you. But you can't seem to connect the pieces to begin to put this picture that's on the box together. So in that process, it, be, it can become very frustrating, upsetting, because of the challenges that are all around you. Life, like trying to figure out life, I would like to say it's kind of the same thing because we don't know exactly what we're supposed to be doing. Only thing we tend to go off of when it comes down to applying for a job is the pay. And then we consider if we're good at it. Probably if we like it first or if we will like it. And then if we're good at it. And we allow that to be the leading guide to making decisions for as what we should do in life. Well, in that process, it's still figuring it out one piece at a time. So when it comes down to changing our situation, our lives, our circumstances, it is a challenge. We have the puzzle box. It shows us the picture. God has given, given us a vision. He has given some of us dreams. Like that's that's like part part of the entire picture. But still, we have to still connect the pieces. And we're trying to do it alone. That's why it seems like it. We can never connect the pieces, and and in the process, our lives are continuing to fall apart. I'm feeling that right now, so I encourage you to not give up. Keep playing with them pieces. You know what I mean? Like keep looking at the keep looking at the 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 puzzle box. Because if you continue to look at the puzzle box, the picture that God has given you, the dream, the vision God has given you, it will it will then help you start connecting the pieces. And once you finally figure it out, like my mom, whenever she used to put puzzles together back in the day, she used to put it put it together on a, on a, a big piece of cardboard. And once she connect all the pieces. She glued all the pieces together and she would frame the puzzle. So it now looked like a picture, right? But it was the glue that kept it together. If she ain't glue it, then it will fall apart. So it's the same thing in our in our lives. In Colossians, it said, Christ, he hold all things together. So although we may seem like we got our life put together, we finally figured it out. If Christ isn't the glue in our lives, if he's not the centerpiece in our lives, we are going to encounter things because if that if 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 my mom would have pushed that puzzle up um off the board, it would have fell apart. It, but it was the glue that had been uh stayed together. So with our lives, make sure that Christ is our glue. Make sure that in every area, just like that that puzzle in every area in our lives make sure make sure he's the glue that's holding us together making make sure he's the he's the centerpiece to our lives because in him all things hold together so same same thing with our lives if if he's where he's supposed to be in our lives yes we're going to it's going to get roughy roughy yes it's going to get rough it's going to get bumpy like we're going to go through some storms in life but remember not to give up your life may seem like it's put together now and if it is make sure you have that glue because without christ 
your life due to life in general and what comes with it, it will fall apart again. Let's get it.